taking any surrounding sounds that might be on the outside. Draw your attention back to inside. Pass the music to you. Let the beautiful sound of your breath be music to your ears. Breath into the nose. And the best we can think about is the lips. A little hinging to the knee. We rise back up. So this is our focus tonight for our physical self is our knees. So we hinge down. We rise up. Now, as you hinge down, tuck the pelvis just a little, enough where you feel it. That's not bothersome. So breath in. Now with the body rising, let's gather the chi. This year is a blue dragon new year. There are more babies born in the year of the dragon than any of the other Chinese astrological signs. I'll let you all do your research on that if you want to. And maybe your color is blue. That's really my favorite color. Let's open up. Here's that hug from each of us to each of us. Keeping in mind, keeping in heart, we're going to gather in Camille and Camilla right here. And all those are the folks that bring us positivity and connection. And the important you. Some kind words to yourself. Let's reach up to the sky. Creating those words into energy. And just like a sprinkling on the outside and a filling up on the inside. And since you're all on silent, I invite you to say those words or word out loud. Like you're gathering that word above you. Bring it into you. Let the hands sink down. Pause there just below the belly button. Breathe, marinate. There's a good word on the word that you chose or words. And flowing in, sinking down. Let's hold up the sky. We have not reached and held up the sky in a while. Whichever way your body wants. You know, over these years, we've found multiple ways. So we reach up. Let's sink back down if you're following me. And if you are following me, we're going to go through all the ways that I have had the opportunity to learn through the years. And I'm going to reach up the same way again. And let's see, find, if one of these movements really speaks to you. So when you get to the top, open the wings. Sinking back down. This time the fingers interlock. And when we get to the top, we're going to breathe all the way into the top. And then we'll let the waist, shoulders, chin, and eyes rotate one way than the other. So on we go, whichever way you want, as far as your body Moves in harmony. We come back into the center of the breath in. The palms are still facing up. Exhale. Come back to center. Now bring the hands down. We're going to do that same extension with the arms. We're going to lean into it, literally. Here we go. Breath into the top. Remember, your hips go one way, you lean the other way. A little hinge to the knees. Exhale. Inhale, top. And letting go. Inhale, top. Arms sink down to the center. 
Now this time, just like the cardinal that's on the other side of the camera, outside the bird feeder, over our wings, a breath in to the top. Let's exhale down. Just a little post-it note. So which of those movements really spoke to you? And come down to the pause. Whichever one just gave you that ah signal. That's your homework. It's your body work. And for them, see now. Let's draw the bow to shoot the arrow. Did you know that the full name of this movement is drawing the bow to shoot the, I think it was the hawk. But I don't want to shoot a hawk, so I'm just going to release the arrow. So let's hinge down, draw the hands across. Now, one index finger thumb is together. The other is pointing the sword finger. And the fingers pull back to you as we sink down to look. And then when you sink down, you point the fingers, and then both hands open, sinking down, we rise back up. Weight equal to both legs. And we'll do the same to the other side. So sword finger, okay kind of settle, and pull the fingers back, point the fingers, release, letting go. This time, the ode to the longbow practice of archery in Japan. So we come up and over time. Now this time, both index and thumbs come together. Sinking down, draw the bow. Release. Same to the other side. Doesn't matter which arm is in front. Beautiful breath in. And sink, look. Now here's the reverse hug. So we cross over again. The forearms lay on top of each other while the thumbs both go down. Palms face the camera. Leave the hands open. And then we sink down with hands open. The hands sink, we rise again. We sure it feels most comfortable. The other on top. So the elbows drape on top of each other. Fill the back open, hands release the tension, sinking down. Now this time I'm going to come back to the first movement. We're going to change how we get to the other side. The hand that holds the arrow, sword finger, comes to the brachial artery right there with the bicep and tricep. The hand stays at sword finger. We rise up and pull across. That's in the video Tai Chi with a twist, I think, anyway. Here we go. Sinking down. Sword finger to the brachial artery. We rise, float across. The spine's doing the turning here. And sinking down. Both arms sink down. Find how you like your heels to come back under your hips. Sink, gather, collect your chi. Those words you spoke to yourself, come back to focus on that with a little hinge to the knees, please. A little smile on the outside, just gently draped over the front of your face. Hands float in, sinking down. Now, hands separate the hands and the earth. The hands draw to the heart. One palm presses down, the other is up. Looking towards the camera, shift the weight to the balls of your feet. I'm exaggerating, I'm coming way up high. You find where it fits you, we'll do that on each side. If you lift your heels further, like they come off the floor, be sure to shift the weight to the ball of the foot, the big toe. Now this time the heels stay down and we look up. Breath into the center. 
and we look up. Whatever up is for you. Now, this time, the hand that descends, the fingers point to the earth. The other palm goes up the way it is, but the arm that goes down, we look over that shoulder. And then the hands draw back to each other, a little hinge to the knee right there, breath in. The hand that's descending, the fingers point straight to the earth. The other one to the sky, look over the shoulder. Ready for the next one? Come back to this first arm movement, but now the spine, hips, waist, head turns. And at the end of the movement, you look up to the sky over the shoulder. And then we come back to center. Now let the side we go. Here's the last style that I recall. The arms stay extended, and we let the waist turn. We make a swirling movement. It's like the fingers and thumbs draw back to us. The waist, spine, shoulders, head turns. The arm that's coming down, whichever one it is, it's done. Last one in the sky, floats across like it's just touching the bottom of the clouds. We sink back to center. A little bend to the knees, open up. Sink the chin. Pause, feel, breathe. For three times, breathe. Hear the sound of your breath. Hear the sound of your music. Hear the sound of anything outside of your four walls. Draw it back to the center of you. The arms come down. Why is owl looks behind? Got a few ways here also. So the hands draw up. Now this is like the first day one that we started. Both palms press down. Fingers rotate behind you. Look over your shoulder, a little shift to the ball of the feet. And then we come back to center. Do the same to the other side. There's a little bend to the knees. We rise. Sinking back down, a little bend to the knees. The spine's not turning, well, except for the neck. Come back to center. Now this time, Hands closed, I'm changing my angle. Hands closed, thumbs turning, back rounds out, head bounce, breath in. So we come back to the same movement we just did. Exhale. Back to center we go. Hands gently fold close. Come back to see you. Hands pull up. This time, the palms press down. The fingers point left and right. And you choose how your waist wants to turn, because then we turn. And the fingers stay that way till we accomplish left and right turn. And then come back to center. Release the tension in the forearms. One more time. Fingers just point to the side, so they're not reaching behind. They feel the shoulder blades hug the spine, feel the chest open, turning of the head, opens the neck, and back to center we go. And here, a little sweeping of chi out to you and me. We'll come back to pause. Hands foot in sinking down. So we come back to our horse riding stance to do bear. We have 
three ways to do bear with our feet wide. And then we'll do the one like we are right now, the last one, um, dragon sweeps itself left and right. So find where your stance is open for you. Now listen, watch just one second, please. You're going to stay in this hinge position. You're going to turn. Don't do it yet. We're going to sink down. And then we come up and look. Now this knee is a giant, right? And this line here should be straight. And then we sink back down. Head hangs, a big pendulum sweeping. And then we draw back up. Okay. Ready? Pick the side you go to. And down you go with the breath in. Rise with the exhale, turning the heart towards the foot. And then back down we go. Breath in. Exhale. Let's try that one more time each side. It was fun. Remember, the knees are hinged at the finish of the movement. Well, one is anyway. Now we'll come back to center. Take a moment to rise back up slowly. However you want to get there. Now this time we'll stay in the hinged position. This is uh, like we started with. So you're going to look about five feet in front of you, right? We stay down that hinged position. We feel the weight of our hands to our knees, the weight of our knees into the center of our feet, and our hips stay open. We look forward, we take a breath in, sink one shoulder down, the other looks up, exhale, bear looks north and south. We come back to the center, looking north or south, rather, and then exhale. And maybe this one speaks to your spine. And it's like going, yeah, I like this one. Or maybe you liked the grander movement of the other. Whichever one's bringing the body some peacefulness here. Okay, we come back to center. We rise back up just for a minute. I'm going to sink back down because now we're going to shift the weight and bring like the first and second movement kind of together. So it's going to go. Without the, without the pendulum sweep, we're going to shift the weight and then look to the side and look up. And then we'll come back to the center, shift the weight to the side. This opens up the hips, push and look up. Okay? So we come back to center and let's begin. Breath in, shift the weight, turn, exhale. Keep the knees pushed open. Breath in, center. Exhale, shift the weight, look up, center. Let's do it one more time. East side, your speed. When you come back to center, draw the crown of the head back to the sky. However, you like to bring your feet back into place. Open up, feel the weight come out of the hands, floating away. And then the pause. Arms hang beside you. Dragon sweeps its tail left and right. Lengthen the spine. Now. There we go. Arms are heavy, relax, shake my feet too. Let's take a big breath in. Little bend to the knees, waist, shoulders, chin, eyes, look, exhale. Come back to center. Check on the arms, send the signal down there and say, stay heavy, don't reach, exhale. One more time, each side for good measure. Back to center, big breath in, 
Focus, gather, pull those words of energy down in and through you. Now here, we'll let the hands go to the pockets, go to our next movement. Looking to the stars and bowing to the earth. So we have three, three different ways. So the first one is that we've always done. A hand draw to the side, a hand close, the back of the hand, Go as close to the kidney area as possible. Now let's look up with our heart. Breath in. Exhale, we come forward. Arms go heavy. A little bend to your knees, please. Take a bow. Head is heavy. So it's like your eyes are looking more towards your thighs, not to the ground. Fingers go outside to inside of the thigh. Rise back up. Now, the next option, depending on shoulder mobility, is the palms stay facing you. So breath in, palms facing you, breath out. You can't look up as high, breath in. At least I can't. And then exhale, fingers now this time. Same way, go to the outside, we'll draw back to the inside. Till the shoulders come forward, the back opens. There's only three of these I'm aware of. Here we go. Breath in. Whichever hand position you like, changes on the second half when you draw back up. So let's look up. Exhale, arms go down. This time, fingers go to the inside of your thighs, into the inside of the knee, the inside of the calf. And it goes to the outside. As we slowly rise, the arms cross over. You give yourself a hug. We're pulling up a shawl of positive energy up over the crown of the head. Here, the hands sink down. The fingers first go to the ears. Where's the face? Think of going through the organs. Or which of those three really spoke to you? Let's go with it. Breath in. Exhale. Find your flow. Let it go. And there's only three ways to do Qigong. Good, better, and best. We do it good enough. We feel better. We can be at our best. Two more. I'm going to cycle through all three movements. So I'm doing back my hands to my kidneys. And then this third one will be the one with arms cross over when you draw up. Whichever one speaks to you. Maybe your body's going, I'm liking this variety. So here we go. Last is here. Remember, the thing will go to the inside. And then pause. Take a tour through you. A variety of movements, a variety of ways to direct our chi. Find the ones that go, okay, that's it. That's the one today. And slow it in, see you now. Gentle punches from the side with a stern gazing look. Hands draw to your side. If you need a little step slightly wider, just to feel a better base. Open the chest, a big breath in. Reach out to each other. There's our energy high five well, across America. Exhale, sinking down. Now here the palm just goes up and it's gonna close. 
Draw it in, guide it to one side, pull it across. Now take it to the other side, reach out, same movement, but maybe the arms of the body will respond differently, and that's okay. Arm still reaches out the same way it did before, but this time we're going to do that movement that's like we're bringing the hand back to do the Pledge of Allegiance. So the palm turns, comes back to the heart, we rise up with the breath in. Now I sink the hand straight down as we sink down. There's a little bend to the knees again. Like a single arm wise owl turns, the palm faces camera, closes, we rise up, same other side. Pressing down. Feel the shoulder blade come back to the spine. Now next, slow hello. Same way you get out there. Same way to get back. But now the forearm turns the hand, the thumb go down. Shoulder blade comes to spine, a slow hello. Other side. Turn the forearm, the thumb is down as much as you can go. Open the chest, shoulder blade to spine, a slow hello. Now here, both hands are closed. Both hands come out at the same time, sinking down. Now turn the thumbs as far down as you can. Open the hands. Fingers face each other. Turn. And like they're a mirror of each other, have the fingers draw close. We ride up. Now both reach to the side, sinking down. Hard press. Turn. Same way they went forward, they just go sideways. Now be mindful of what's behind you. We do one arm each side. So we turn and reach. Imagine if we were drawing the chi north, south, east, and west. Sinking down, reaching behind, watching the hand close. And we go back to center. Everything flexes. Ready? Flex for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly let go, let open up. It's a progressive muscle relaxation. Only all at once. And just slow it away. And then to pause. Take a moment to explore. Which movement or which movie had two of them? Hands float in, sinking down. Now I want to stand sideways for this next one because it's jingling the body but shuddering the body. So they're interchangeable, but this is come. Completely different movement. We haven't done it in a long time. But you're going to rise up off your heels, just whatever fits you, right? Arms come up with a breath in. And then we're going to drop, exhale, and then come back up. Breath in, drop, exhale. That's how this dropping, right? we got to bend the knees. When you drop, you let go, but be mindful of where your body allows that to be. If you know there's something going on in the shoulder or the back, then we can just uh, a little gentler. So we're going to do each one of these three times. I'm going to save the last jingle for the entirety of the 20 seconds. So we'll do three of these. Change of angle here. So here we go. Up, breath in, and back up you go. And back up you go. 
and arms, body comes to stillness. Almost arms to the side, arms out just a little bit, retach into the body. Let the waist turn side to the side. Arms are open, like you're carrying suitcases in each arm, a pillow ball. Now it's on to a completely still or, or beside you, and we stay in place. 20 seconds. Find the rhythmical breath that works best for you. Your heels do not have to come off the floor. And now we count back from three. When we get to one, we stop, let the arms just float away. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Take in your surrounding sounds, take in your surrounding feeling of what you've created for you. Let arms travel that way one more time in your mind, wherever you decided to go. Let the whole body just come to stillness. However, the body wants to rest. Might be different than before. Two more times. Big, beautiful, wonderful breath. Soften the belly, relax the diaphragm, expand the ribs. Arms come down heavy. Beautiful. Source where your Tai Chi ruler is. Slowly, it's acquired. As you all know, it's definitely not one of those times you go, here, take that quick. So we have the ruler in the palms of our hands, we're about to. When you have the ruler there, notice the Texture, so spiral it a couple of times in the palm of your hand. Anything different than last time? I feel like it's brand new all over again. But come down to be heavier, arms hang down. Let the fingers intertwine around it slightly. Notice the weight of it, the weight of you, or you equal balance, or is your body somehow shifted over to one side and doesn't need to? The temperature of your ruler. Let's reach to the stars. So we're going to breathe in all the way to the top if you have it, right? You breathe in, we can look up with that movement. Bring it right back down. And let's go ahead and begin looking at the ruler as we descend. We can flex and extend the spine. You're going to bend the knees when you come down. We draw up, they become straighter, but not going backwards or locked out. There we go. Same down. Let the ruler be like a scanning mechanism, if you will. And even though the ruler doesn't go completely head to toe, as we reach up, imagine if it's reaching down. We're just scanning the whole body, guiding this energy where we feel it might need to go to bring comfort, joy, kindness to ourselves, a little smile on the outside. I think for all of you, we focus on the warmth on the inside. Two 
two more this way. Relax the face. One more. We'll watch the river come down to rest and we'll draw ourselves back to our rested position. And pause. Explore through the spine. Maybe in segments of 33, that's going to take a while. Use that in your own personal private practice, most definitely. Picture each, each segment of your spine. You can start at the base or you can start at the top or underneath the, or the atlas where your head skull sits. Right? And breathe in light and love to each area. Now let's look down to the ruler. It's going to reach out to you and I. As it rises, we'll gently let the elbows bend. We're putting on our sunglasses. The spine lifts and we're looking to the stars. And the spine flexes. Take a bow for yourself. And when you are looking up, you may have found out that if your legs go straight, you might go backwards. So always have a little bend to the knees when you look at the stars. Let's have three more. Guide the energy up. What color is it for you? Swirl it back down and through. Think of like a DNA strand or a spiral spaghetti. Was that rigatoni? And spiral the energy through you. Not just a straight line. One more time. And we'll drift, gently drift back to stillness. Come back to hearing the sound of the music that you chose or the silence around you. If you chose a music, what instrument is playing right now? What's the dominant instrument? And how does it make you feel? How does that create a sensation of feeling for you? Here our ruler goes vertical. We'll take our feet a little wider. We're going to let the body sway side to side in a hinge position. Extend the ruler out, sway, reaching forward, wherever the breath carries you. You can breathe in as you draw in. Breathe out as you go out, or something in between. Like we're churning a big pot of pure energy. But the pot's not before you, it is you. And so with each passing of the ruler, maybe you focus on a different body part each time. I'll let you take that journey. We'll do three more, just in case you're doing that, you know where it needs to go.
us. Both knees a little bent. Sink the tailbone under just a little. Feel the heaviness of the river into the palms of the hands. We'll gently turn the river over. Notice the texture in the palm of the hand. Sweeping to the side of the lower hand, we go out. Wherever the breath carries you. You can give your eyes direction to the ruler, except when it comes draws and close, so I bow the head too much. So as it reaches out, when we can look out, watch you go across the land. Maybe there's a horizon that it was one of days gone by, or you're just creating it on your own. Maybe the sun is rising. The sun is definitely set here. Three more, please. Is there any music in the body? Clicking, popping. It's taking our body into a range of motion. We're just it's gonna find some release, some relief in the movement. One more here. Now, as we come to center, begin to let the ruler churn as you find your feet drawing back underneath you. Let's take a step, whichever foot, however you want to step, long or short. It's one of those kind of days where you just, you know, I'm just going to turn my toe out. And just take the step. Maybe that's going to feel best. Remember, there's three. One to each side, one right here to the middle. Close the fingers a little bit more. We need to we'll look to the ruler so we can talk to the hands so they can manipulate the ruler to stay in place. And we'll do our best to set it and forget it. If you have music, think about why that was your choice for that genre. Is there a, what's the pleasant feeling that's attached to that music? Bring that feeling like you're turning it into you, mixing it. Two more steps. Did you attach your breath with one of the hands? Last step is here. We come back in like we began this movement, and just this time, let's turn it out to each other. All for one, one for all. Whenever you like that root to come to its resting position, there's no right or wrong way to get it there. Just a good, better, and best. And then we come to our space. Notice the breath, the music, any sounds outside of your four walls. Draw it back to the music. Draw your attention back to your breath.
Draw attention to your heart. You know what it sounds like. You can feel it slightly in your chest, just beating, saying, thank you. We haven't placed a little ruler rest. Let's place it down now or into the palm of the right hand. Our last three movements, family, we open up, reaching high into the sky. Not just the sky, past the hemisphere, into the universe. Draw the hands down into you, your universe. This link in the mind, the spine, the breath. You know, all that wonderful energy cloak you on the outside, fill you up on the inside. In our last movement, you know the words. Let's think about those people, places. Things, thoughts, and ideas that bring us health, healing, hope, and happiness to our minds, our mental energy, to our hearts, our emotional energy, and into our body, our physical energy. We draw it in, sink it down, letting it infuse all of who and what we are to our atomic level. And with that, Thank you very much.